Hi there, I'm Tom from Danfoss Climate Solutions. How do you save costs on system shutdown time and service if you have a solenoid valve failure in your system? Well, to answer that, have a look at this video. The videos troubleshoot the following Danfoss solenoid valve types. The EVR valve family, the EVU valve family, the CSV valve family and the coils used for these valves. Completing this series of online troubleshooting videos will efficiently support you to solve solenoid valve failures and thereby minimize system shutdown and service costs. This video gives you troubleshooting tips so you can efficiently identify root causes and make corrective actions related to solenoid valve noise and solenoid valve vibration. Check out the other online solenoid valve troubleshooting videos to get information about other valve failures and how to solve them. Now, let us first look at the solenoid valve failure where the valve is noisy. Here you see an overview of possible root causes related to a noisy solenoid valve and how to solve these failures. Let us go through them step by step. Now, if there seems to be frequency noise, this heard as a humming noise causing the noisy solenoid valve, then this might not be related to the valve itself, but may be related to the coil or supply voltage. The frequency noise is only related to uses of AC voltage coils. Therefore, the first step to do is to compare the system supply voltage with the coil data. The coil electrical data can be identified from the coil ID marking, as seen here. If the supply voltage is OK, then the next step is to take the valve apart, if serviceable, as seen shortly here, and check inside the armature tube assembly to ensure that there is a copper damping ring mounted in the armature tube top, as seen here. This copper ring reduces frequency noise when using AC voltage coils. Should the ring for some reason be missing, then you need to replace the armature tube assembly using a suitable service kit, which is possible for NO version valves, or replace the complete valve for NC version valves, where the armature tube assembly is not available as a service kit. Finally, if needed and possible related to the given supply voltage, then replace the AC voltage coil causing the hum noise with an alternative hum free coil as seen here. Now, if there seems to be liquid hammer in the system causing the valve noise, then you can normally both hear it as a banging noise and feel it on the valve. If possible, reduce the differential pressure across the valve and or reduce the numbers of valve opening and closing, this also referred to as valve cycle rate. If the system data exceeds the valve data, then you should replace the complete valve with another valve type which can meet the system conditions. Check out other Danfoss online learnings about solenoid valves for this purpose. Now, if there seems to be too high or too low system differential pressure causing the valve noise, then the first step is to compare the actual system pressures with the technical data of the valve being used. Too high differential pressure across the valve can cause a high banging noise when the valve closes, and over time it might damage the internal valve parts. Therefore, if possible, reduce the differential pressure. Too low differential pressure across a servo operator valve can cause unstable valve opening and closing, which can cause high valve noise, as seen and heard here. It can also damage the internal valve parts over time. Therefore, if possible, increase the differential pressure. If the valve cannot meet the system conditions, then, if possible, replace the complete valve with another valve type. Check out other Danfoss online learnings about solenoid valves for this purpose. Ok, let us then look at the solenoid valve failure where the valve is vibrating. Here you see an overview of possible root causes related to a vibrating solenoid valve and how to solve these failures. Valve vibration is normally related to unstable valve opening and closing. This caused by too low differential pressure across the valve, as also mentioned earlier in this video related to valve noise. The valve vibration can normally be felt by hand, as seen here. It can also damage the internal valve parts over time. 
Therefore, if possible, increase the differential pressure. If the valve cannot meet the system conditions, then, if possible, replace the complete valve with another valve type. Check out other Danfoss online learnings about solenoid valves for this purpose. So to summarize, from this solenoid valve troubleshooting video, you now know how to efficiently identify root causes and make corrective actions related to solenoid valve noise and solenoid valve vibration. This way minimizing system shutdown time and service costs. Please search for the other online solenoid valve troubleshooting videos to learn about relevant valve failure root causes and how to solve them with suitable corrective actions. Have a look at the other Danfoss online videos about solenoid valve troubleshooting and other videos where I talk about valves. Thanks for watching.